Get over here! All right, here we are at the Lucky Pond. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. Oh, hi, in Jack. A pile of garbage. Jack, why are you? I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Ugh. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This'll take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Hey. Wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. Oh dear. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Six me on the omelets, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> you know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad. Ooh, he nice work, fancy Toad. fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Ooh. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Just do what I fucking say, all right? Leave the coat, find another way. Fine, I'm leaving. But I'm taking the coat with me. Toad, if you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by any time. Hmm. Really grows on you. That look. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Bad stuff. You mean he kills him? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to uh, a winner of college cats. Oh, God. That's what I heard. I've Let's never see, heard that one. start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? 
Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh, What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here, but I can call you when he comes back, all right? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. <laughs> The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. <laughs> All right, so. Where? I've actually never searched this place. I've always gone to the butcher first. So, this is gonna be interesting. What do you want to look at? What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Hey, that looks familiar. This mm -hmm. is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Oh. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... Who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad. Which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. <laughs> Ooh. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. She say anything about... about the crooked man's plans? About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just- Jersey, don't- don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just that gonna- my fucking system. Ooh. But you- you're the guy who makes sure that- I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is are his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Oh boy. Jack, did you know that as of this very morning? Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures. He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two... You know. <laughs> Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen. 
bald little dipshit. You're gonna... You piece of shit! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing Get ready. Team? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh. You... Oh boy. Ooh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Yeah, Woody, I don't think you want to be dealing with us right now. We got a problem. Guy doesn't let up. Hey, asshole. I found her. Oh, jeez. How heavy is that statue? in the bends and forks of tree roots behind the sun in the <coughs> shadows that's not good enough oh, oh the door to his house it bounces around never in one spot you'll never find it even crane had to use the magic mirror Bingo. that fucking guy <laughs> okay that's crane's way how do you contact him Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? <laughs> It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. 
Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. Oh. He ain't going anywhere. So that's it. Okay. That's what you want. So go fucking get it. Or you can at least try. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Nice to see those two working together. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? <laughs> Nicely done. Out of smoke? <laughs> Shitty <Should he> crap. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. At least we didn't have to deal with any silver. Mm -hmm. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. And get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? This is the moment that made me like Woody. 